Serving all of San Diego, this is your Fox 5 News. All right, well, a lot of folks are shocked by this. According to a new study, half of adult men have HPV. The sexually transmitted virus is linked to certain cancers in men and women. Dr. Erwin Goldstein of the Editor-in-Chief of the Journal of Sexual Medicine and Dr. Rose Hartzell are here with more on these findings and who is at risk. Good morning to you both. Good morning. All right, so let's start first with you. A, a little bit about what HPV is and how it's transmitted. We know sexually, but tell us a little bit about that. Yes, HPV is a virus and it's transmitted through skin-to-skin -skin contact mm -hmm. and this can also be through oral in inter um, exchanges, exchanges <laughs> and through finger to um, so lots exchanges of different ways. as well. Okay. Yes. Very good. And so, and so what does this mean, doctor, if you would? I mean, that half of all men apparently have this. Well, so HPV is a virus that, uh, um, it's a wart, basically, mm -hmm. and it, uh, sex is very common, and sex is performed by many people. And um, we, we kind of think of HPV uh, during a pap smear and for women, but sex is a couple's sort of thing. So it's sort of weird to think that it doesn't involve the men. So finally, uh, National Cancer Institute study that shows that men do indeed carry uh, the virus and um, th I think they're very important tips that can be made for the listeners uh, on this uh, topic and uh, mm -hmm. I think as we go through this we should make these tips. All right go ahead tell us a okay, little bit so, about that. Okay so Rose why don't you start? Mm -hmm. Well yeah just you know thinking about spring break and spring fever people are going to be more active and um, the first thing that I would tell people to do is to communicate with your partner. So to get tested for an STI and um, tell your partner if you've, you've ever had HPV and ask them if they've ever had HPV. A second tip would be to uh, use condoms and not only use condoms but use them consistently and correctly. A lot of times people um, will use them incorrectly and the problem with condoms is user error, not the condom error. So ways to use the condom correctly would include um, using a water-based lubricant, leaving space at the tip, getting the correct fit or feel, so that might include experimenting with a couple different types of condoms to make sure that you get the right size, and then to also um, hold the base when you withdraw. And then lastly, to get vaccinated or consider getting vaccinated. Uh, luckily, there's a vaccine available. Yeah, I was just going to ask that because mm -hmm. that's something that's really um, pushed hard for young girls. Is that something you recommend for young boys well, as well? Well, so this is now the final element in right. this. It's a, it's a shared uh, exchange and the concept of a vaccination to one aspect of the sexual relationship seems odd and this will now promote the concept of vaccination for, for, for men and boys really. So that's very important. Uh, the other thing is uh, uh, during just looking at the genitals of a male, because it's pretty external, you could actually see if there's a wart. And uh, if there's a wart, it really ought to be taken care of. There's kinds of things you can do, uh, like surgical excision. We do, at our clinic, we do a lot of excisions of these little tiny warts things, and uh, we examine every patient who has it, uh, who's, who's seen in our office for this. So that's a simple tip that can be done. And how involved is that removal? Because for a lot of folks, this might be something that's really embarrassing. So what's yeah, well, involved with um, that? It's embarrassing, but this is why we love Fox 5, because <laughs> we can talk about this. This is the beautiful part of, of doing this kind of thing. It's embarrassing, but look at the consequences. So let's get over the embarrassment and deal with, you know, you're exchanging uh, feelings and intimacy. So it, let's do it safely. And uh, so, so what does it take? Well, you can, you can freeze it with some medicine and then, or numb it with some medicine. You can actually burn it or freeze it or remove it surgically. There's creams you can put on it. But the point is we have treatments for it. And it's something that's really important to get taken care of because it can lead to lots of different types of, uh, of cancer and other things. Uh, yeah, uh, mm -hmm. no question. So that, so that is the, the, the important message. And I think uh, we should thank The Lancet for publishing this and, uh, and the media for, for taking advantage of, of educating the public on this. You can get a blood test, uh, an antibody blood test to see if you're carrying it. So that's another thing. Good. Doctors, thank you both for being here. We really appreciate it. It's a really important topic. And we to, thank uh, you so much for doing this. We thank really. you. <laughs> Very good. And if you'd like more information, you can contact San Diego Sexual Medicine. Their uh, phone number is right there. You can also go to fox5sandiego.com and click on that scene on tab. All right, Raul, back to you. Okay, Erica, thank you.